joining me for the very first time. I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate. Guys, in today's video, I'm now with the new immigration rules, which is for the skilled workers updated on the 11th of April, which was day before yesterday. So just as you can see on my screen, the skilled worker route is for employers to recruit people to work in the UK, including in UK waters. In a specific job, skilled worker must have a job offer in an eligible skilled occupation from a home office approved sponsor. So let's go to the dependents, as you can see on my screen. A dependent partner and dependent children can apply on this route. I'm just really excited because this has caused a lot of panic. A lot of people have come to me, Fadria, which other way can we do it? Now, just as you can see, skilled worker is a route to settlement. If you're able to get a skilled worker visa for five years, after five years, you apply for your indefinite leave to remain. After one year, you apply for your naturalization. And once you have done your naturalization, then you can now apply for your British passport. Now, SWA1, which is a skilled worker for the purpose of this appendix, health and care ASHA salary job means a job in one of the SOC 2020 occupation codes. So just as you can see, 117 health services and public health managers and directors, 1231 healthcare practice managers, 1232 residential day and domiciliary care managers and proprietors. 2113 biochemists and biomedical scientists, 2114 physical scientists, 3111 laboratory technician, 3211 dispensing opticians, 3212 pharmaceutical technicians, immigration rules that has been updated on the 11th of April. A dependent partner and a dependent children can apply on this route. So this is not only for those in the UK, those even overseas can apply with their dependents now there is a requirement for that just as you can see where the applicant is sponsored employed or engaged by one of the following now what the uk government have done listed the organizations you need to get this job with on those codes that will allow you to move to the uk or stay in the uk with your dependent just as you can see by one of the following in england an nhs foundation trust which we all know what NHS is, an NHS trust. Now, the Care Quality Commission, remember the Care Quality Commission is a, is a body that uh, regulates the care companies, which is the CQC. Now, Health Education England, Health Research Authority, Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority, Human Tissue Authority, Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, NHS Blood and Transplant, NHS Business Services Authority, NHS Digital, the Health and Social Care Information Center, NHS England, the NHS Commissioning Body, NHS Improvement Monitor and the NHS Trust Development Authority, NHS Resolution, the NHS Litigation Authority, UK Health Security Agency, Local Authority or Clinical Commissioning Group, Wales, a local health board, Health Education and Improvement Wales, Public Health Wales, the Welsh Ambulance Services, Valindy NHS Trust, and in Scotland, a health board or special health board constituted under Section 2 of the National Health Service Scotland, that's Act 1978, Common Services Agency for the Scottish Health Service, established under Section 10 of that Act, Social Care and Social Work Improvement Scotland, known as the Care Inspectorate, established under Section 44 of the Public Service Reform Scotland Act 2010. Scottish Social Services Council established under Section 43 of the Regulation of Care Scotland Act 2001. Then for Northern Ireland, you need to get a job in any of these, as you can see, a health and social care trust in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland Blood Transfusion Service, Ireland Guardian Aid Ligtime Agency, Northern Ireland Medical and Dental Training Agency, Northern Ireland Practice and Education Committee, Northern Ireland Social Care Council Patient and Client Council, Regional Agency for Public Health and Social Well-being, the Public Health Agency, Regional Business Services Organizations, Regional Health and Social Care Board, Regulations and Quality Improvement, or 
B, which further explains what the UK government may see on the screen to, to provide or to support the provision of regulated activities as prescribed in Schedule 1. Read with Schedule 2. To the Health and Care Social Care Act 2008, regulated activities regulated 20, 2014, and who is also employed or engaged by an institution or organization registered with the Care Quality Commission. So any institution or organization that is registered with the Care Quality Commission or for the purposes of an establishment or agency in Wales regulated under Part 2 of the Care Standard Act 2000. For the purposes of a service regulated under Part 1 of the Regulation and Inspection of Social Care Wales Act 2016 or on a general medical services contracted to provide primary medical services or an agreement for the provision of primary medical services on, under Section 50 of the NHS Wales Act 2000 or on a general dental services contracted to provide primary dental service or an agreement for the provision of primary dental services under Section 64 of the NHS Wales Act 2006 or to provide care services as defined in Section 47 of the Public Service Reform Scotland Act 2010 and register under that Act or by an organization registered with Social Care and Social Work Improvement Scotland or in connection with the provision of services under the National Health Service Scotland Act 19 1978 by a party or other than a health board to so one of the following an arrangement to provide services under section 17c of that act a contract to provide services under section 17j of that act an arrangement to provide services under section 25 26 or 27 of that act or by a general practitioner federation or, or by an entity which the northern Ireland regional health and social care board has a contract or an arrangement under the Health and Personal Social Service, Northern Ireland Order 1972, to provide family practitioner service, or by a body registered with or monitored or inspected by the Regulations and Quality Improvement Authority, or registered with one of the following organizations. I'll just leave that on my screen so you can see because I don't want this video to be too long. Organization providing adult social care services meaning any services which an english local authority must or may provide or arrange to be provided under section 117 of the mental health act 1983 after care or part one of the care act 2040 care and support ties there so guys this brings us to the end of today's video and i hope you find this video helpful and if you do and you are excited like i am please do like and share with your friends and loved ones because I know a lot will be excited about this news as well. This will not come with dependent, come with dependent. At least people will be more informed now and know what to do and which companies and which sectors they need to apply to. So until I see you in my next video, guys, do take care and have a lovely day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.